hey guys welcome back to the channel well guys this morning we are prepping it is friday uh the friday before the east zone opener here in louisiana and uh and today we're kind of getting things ready kind of tied up on the loose end stuff that we're getting ready for the weekend uh, i'm not expecting the best of weather this weekend but uh, or at least tomorrow for the opener, but Sunday's looking better. So it looks like we'll have a strong uh, weather pattern coming in for the end of the weekend. But uh, something I wanted to share with you guys, um, now since we're in the split of the season for the East Zone here in Louisiana, um, that's usually a time where we do some preparations. We tie up some loose ends, like I mentioned, on equipment, stuff like that. Uh, but something that we did over the last day or so is make a major equipment change, and I'm going to share that with you guys. So if you follow the channel, you know that we've been running a uh, surface drive over the last two seasons, uh, a 23 Copperhead surface drive. Well, we decided now with the family getting bigger, the boys are getting bigger, Jackson's as tall as I am now. Uh, I got my youngest one coming up, usually when we want to bring a friend. Um, in the 1648 War Eagle that we run with the Copperhead 23 and you put a load in there with hunters, it starts slowing things down. It's a little bit slower getting to the duck holes and we're not obsessed with speed. We're not trying to run 40 miles an hour, but you also want to be able to get to your spots, especially hunting public land in a timely manner and be able to haul a load along with the hunters that you got with you. So uh, we've been thinking about this for a while now and we made an upgrade over the last couple of days, guys, on our power plant that we have on the boat. And I'm gonna show you guys what we ended up going with. So we ended up going with a Go Devil 40 horsepower F and R. This is the forward neutral and reverse model, guys. And uh, I'm really, really excited about this motor. Uh, this is a motor that I'm very familiar with. Uh, those of you who know me and follow the channel, you know that I'm in the marine industry and our dealership that I work for is a Go Devil dealer. Uh, so we sell these motors to customers quite often. I'm very familiar with them. I know the reliability of the Go Devil product. Um, I'm also friends with some of the uh, Go Devil family, Mr. Warren Coco, Lance Coco, uh, and our sons are also friends. Um, I actually coach uh, Lance's son in uh, baseball. So him and my son play baseball together. So we have a relationship with the Coco family and they are phenomenal people um, that make an excellent product, guys. And Go Devil, I can't say enough about their company. They've been around. They're the pioneers of the mud motor, uh, mud motor industry in Louisiana. And, uh, and you know, a lot of people have taken and spawned off uh, products based off of what they came up with back in the day whenever they brought mud motors and the whole mud motor industry to Louisiana. So, uh, you know, when you're talking about good people, a reliable product, it's really a no brainer whenever you decide and it's time to buy a product that's gonna get you and your, your, your crew back every hunt and have some reliability. And then on top of that, service, guys. If you need service done, I could get on the phone with the Go Devil guys. I could give them a call. And I have heard numerous stories through the years from my customers telling me that they placed a phone call over to Go Devil, got you know the guys on the phone, they were able to answer the phone calls, and they were able to get their problems fixed while out in the field and get them going and get them back in, man. So when you talk about that type of customer service, um, you know, it's really, it's really second to none in the industry from what uh, I've experienced and what I've been told by other customers that buy the product. So I'm really excited, um, you know, to have this 40 horsepower. This is as big as you could go in the mud motor industry. Many of you know that already. But uh, we went ahead and we went with the, the, the top of the line model. This is going to have the power trim. You have the power trim. You have the reverse. Um, and this is going to be or is put now on my War Eagle 648 LDV, which is a 16 foot, 48 inch bottom boat. Uh, you guys can see the interior of it right here. So this is a big motor, guys. It's rated, this boat is actually rated for a 40 horsepower. But this is a big, a big power plant for a boat in this size range. A lot of you guys who may have 40 horsepowers, you're probably running 40s on 18 foots or 17 foots. Uh, somewhere in that range. So we ended up doing a little bit of modification. We had uh, we had a good friend of mine do some modifications. He actually built up the transom on the back of the boat for us to get it to fit. Uh, reinforced the transom as well. So we have some we do have some reinforcements 
uh, to make sure that this boat will hold this motor no problem with the added weight that we put on it now. So going from a 23 to a 40, uh, there's going to be quite a bit of difference. There's going to be a lot more power, a lot more uh, torque, uh, and more speed out of it, obviously. So what I'm hoping for is that when we have a full load of people uh, in the boat, you know, three or four guys in the boat and all our gear, hopefully we'll be in the mid-20s, somewhere in that range. I haven't actually tested it yet. We're going to find out over the weekend probably how it handles it, but I'm expecting it to be somewhere in that range, no problem, guys. And that's really... That was the point of upgrading to a bigger motor for us right now. Uh, and it just happened to fall that it fell between the splits when we decided to do this and get it all taken care of. And uh, and, and hopefully it works out for us. And I, I, I see that it, it, it probably will and we shouldn't have any issues with it. So I'm really excited, uh, you know, to share this news with you guys. Uh, I know a lot of people ask us questions about what motors that are we running. Uh, they'll see videos and, you know, see us put content out and they'll say, hey, what, video, what motor are you running? And honestly, I, I have to give a shout out to Copperhead too, man. Copperhead's a Louisiana-based company. They, they specialize in small surface drive engines for smaller boats. And I have to tell you, from my experience over the two years that I had my Copperhead, I had no issues with my Copperhead. This upgrade is nothing in reflection of, oh, I was having trouble with that motor. Uh, and I need to get something else. That's not the case. It's basically just upgrading in size, uh, you know, be able to carry those those heavier loads and carry more people if I got more people with me. Um, that's all it came down to. So uh, Copperhead, honestly, was a phenomenal company. I had to work with them twice on two different occasions and, uh, and top-notch customer service from Copperhead, Mr. Gill. He's the owner over at Copperhead in Covington, Louisiana. He was excellent to work with, uh, took care of me, and I, and I told a story before last year, I had a little issue with, with the manual trim knob on Christmas Eve. I called him just to see if I could catch somebody there on Christmas Eve to see when I could bring the boat after Christmas. And he happened to answer the phone. And he told me, he said, hey, where are you located? I told him, I said, I'm about an hour and a half away from you. And he said, if you want to come to me right now and bring the boat, I'll get you fixed up, get you a new trim knob on there and uh, get you going for the holiday to be able to hunt. So once again, another company that had exceptional customer service, uh, and he did, man. On Christmas Eve, that man over at, at Copperhead, Mr. Gill, the owner, he took care of me, and there's, you know, I was very appreciative of that. So, uh, and another instance I had, I brought it over to him, they got me taken care of, and I was back on the water in no time. So it wasn't an equipment change because i was having problems with the product that i had the 23 copperhead uh or the service uh, both of those were absolutely great and uh and the motor that i took off is is ready to roll right now for the next owner it's ready to go so it's a good product guys but this just came down to upgrading to a bigger product that i for the future my family will be taken care of and i'm very happy to be a part of the go devil family now because like i said phenomenal product great customer service and just good people overall guys so if you're thinking about getting a go devil guys give me a call hit me up right here on social media leave a comment I, like i said i work for a dealership we are a go devil dealer we can get you the product that you want we can get you whether it's a motor or a boat and motor combination we can get you set up with go devil and uh and get you a good reliable product to get you out of the water and get you back home guys so that's all i got but if you appreciate the video you like the video it's good content you think give us a thumbs up leave us a like hit that smash button for or the subscribe button smash it and uh and follow the channel guys for other videos that we do like this but we appreciate all of you tuning in and until next time this is jacob last stop waterfowl outdoors y'all have a good one guys